everyone welcome back to another video of step up wbcs let's get started with today's current affairs as usual we will begin with the answer of the question of the day of the previous video and the question was who has inaugurated the prashasan gaon ki or campaign under the good governance week 2022 in new delhi on 19th december the answer is dr jitendra singh Dr Singh is the Union Minister for Personal Public Grievances and Pensions. He also launched the Good Governance Week portal. Which country will host the 13th World Trade Organization ministerial meeting in February 2024? The answer is United Arab Emirates or UAE. The World Trade Organization was set up on 1st February 1995 replacing the General Agreement on Tariff and Trade. Its main purpose is to promote rule-based trading systems in the world and to settle trade-related disputes between the member countries. The ministerial conference is the topmost decision-making body of the WTO and usually meets every 2 years. It brings together all the members of WTO and takes decisions on all matters under any of the multilateral trade agreements. The headquarters of WTO is in Geneva, Switzerland, and there are 164 member countries. The Director General of WTO is Dr. Nagozi Okonjo Iwela of Nigeria. Who has been appointed as the Chancellor of Gati Shakti Vishwavidyalaya Vadodara? The answer is Union Minister of the Railways Ashwini Vaishnav. Shri Vaishnav will be the first chancellor of Gati Shakti Vishwavidyalaya. President also appointed Dr. Manoj Chaudhary as the first vice chancellor of this university, Vadodara, for a tenure of 5 years. Who has been awarded Pita India's 2022 Person of the Year title? The answer is Bollywood actress Sonakshi Sinha. Sonakshi's actions helped save the lives of many animals killed for fashion. but her strong advocacy for dog and cat rights earned her the title now uh, you must know what is peta peta stands for people for ethical treatment of animals peta was founded in 1980 and is dedicated to establishing and defending the rights of all animals who has been named the men's international tennis federation or itf world champion 2022 the answer is Spanish tennis player Rafael Nadal he has been named for the fifth time after an outstanding 2022 session previously he has been named the same in 2008 2010 2017 and 2019 also remember polish tennis player Iga Swiatek has been named women's ITF world champion 2022 for her performance in 2022 winning two grand slam titles and eight titles Which city will host the Urban 20 cycles as the part of G20 meetings between February to July? The answer is Ahmedabad. Chief Minister Bhupendra Patel has unveiled the logo, website and social media handles of the Urban 20 conference in Gandhinagar. The UNESCO Heritage City Ahmedabad will host the Urban 20 cycles as part of G20 meetings between February to July. Which ministry has inaugurated Delhi International Arts Festival at Kartavya Path? Ministry of Culture. The ministry in collaboration with Prasiddha Foundation inaugurated the festival with the tagline Where Bharat Meets India. The festival aims to celebrate the great epics, the warriors who fought for our freedom, and the many policy decisions and schemes instituted by our government. towards women empowerment towards cleaning our holy rivers towards keeping our country clean and free from dirt and disease the 599th meeting of the board was held in which city kolkata the meeting was chaired by rbi governor shaktikant das on december 16 which state government has made aadhar a must for all its schemes the answer is tamil nadu The Tamil Nadu government has announced that all those who are eligible for benefits under various government schemes 
are required to submit proof of possession of an Aadhaar number. Which sailboat of Indian Navy has set to sail for an expedition to Cape Town, South Africa for participating in the 50th edition of Cape to Rio Race 2023? The answer is INSV Tarini. The ocean sailing race will be flagged off from Cape Town on 2nd January 2023 and will culminate at Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. The race is one of the most prestigious transatlantic ocean race. This expedition is being undertaken by Indian Navy crew of five officers, including two women officers. Which state government has introduced the Friends of Library program? The answer is Tamil Nadu government. Under this program, books would be directly given to those who are unable to access state-run libraries. The project will be helpful to people with disabilities, seniors, kids and hospital inpatients, among others who are unable to visit a library. Volunteers will hand over the books to such people from the libraries. Footballer Karim Benzema has announced his retirement from international football recently. He is from which country? France. Benzema ends his time with France with 37 goals in 97 appearances. Who has solved the Panini code? Indian PhD student Rishi Rajpopa. He released a thesis titled In Panini We Trust. Discovering the Algorithm for Rule Conflict Resolution in the Ashtadhyayi, this thesis has decoded the problem that was a source of perplexity for Sanskrit scholars for centuries. Now, if you do not know who is Panini, then you can note it down. Panini was a famous Sanskrit scholar, philologist and a grammarian. He lived around the 5th century BCE in India and is considered the first descriptive linguist. The Western scholars consider him as the father of linguists. The Ashtadhyayi is one of his most important works. It is a grammar that essentially defines the ancient language of Sanskrit. Which regulatory body has released new guidelines titled Performance Benchmarking and Reporting of Performance by Portfolio Managers? The answer is the Securities and Exchange Board of India, or SEBI. The guidelines, which will come to effect from April 1 next year, provide certain performance reporting and benchmarking norms to improve transparency in the disclosure of portfolio management firms. Who has launched the EV Yatra mobile application in New Delhi on the occasion of National Energy Conservation Day? The answer is President Draupadi Murmu. The EV Yatra mobile application was developed by the Bureau of Energy Efficiency to facilitate in-vehicle navigation to the nearest public charger for EV users. It allows charge point operators to register on the platform and enter details into the national online database. You can actually refer to our previous video of December 14th for the National Energy Conservation Day. The National Energy Conservation Awards was launched by which organization? The answer is Bureau of Energy Efficiency. BEE comes under the aegis of Union Ministry of Power. President Draupadi Murmu presented the National Energy Conservation Awards National Energy Efficiency Innovation Awards and National Painting Competition Prizes on the occasion of National Energy Conservation Day. Now let's come to the crucial part. Who received the Energy Conservation Awards in 2022? If you do not know, please note it down. In the transport category or railway stations sector, the South Central Railways have received the first and the second prizes for energy conservation measures. The first prize was conferred to the Kachigura station and the second prize was given to the Guntakal railway stations. And in the buildings category or government building sector, the Ajmer workshop of Northwestern Railway received the first prize. 
the 15th conference of parties to the united nations convention on biological diversity held in which city the answer is montreal kanming montreal global biodiversity framework has been adopted in this conference held in december 2022 the gbf includes four goals and 23 targets to address the loss of biodiversity and restore natural ecosystem by 2030 The Kanming Montreal Global Biodiversity Framework provides a global roadmap for the conservation, restoration and sustainable management of biodiversity and ecosystems for the next decade. Which country has hosted the third summit meeting of Joint Expeditionary Force on 19 December 2022? Latvia. The summit meeting has been convened on the initiative of the prime minister of latvia namely krishans karens with the support of united kingdom the jef was founded in 2015 after the north atlantic treaty organization on nato summit meeting in wales in 2014 it comprises denmark estonia finland iceland latvia lithuania netherlands norway Sweden and the United Kingdom the JEF has been set up to prepare a high readiness force which can respond to crises in the high north and northern europe caused by russian aggression india's first ever surety bond insurance product from the bajaj alliance general insurance has been launched by whom the answer is union minister for road transport and highways Nitin Gadkari it was launched on 19 December 2022 it is expected to reduce the need for bank guarantee for the infrastructure developers now what is surety bond insurance if you do not know please note it down the surety bond insurance is a risk transfer tool for the principal or the authority which has awarded the contract and shields the principal from the losses that may arise in the case the contractor fails to perform their contractual obligations which two cities in bihar has been included by the government of india under the swadesh darshan 2.0 scheme gaya and nalanda punaura dham in sitamari district of bihar has been selected for development under the prashad scheme of the government of india Now if you do not know what is Swadesh Darshan 2.0 please note it down Government of India launched Swadesh Darshan scheme in 2014 and 15 for integrated development of theme based tourist circuits for example Buddhist circuit Ramayana circuit Desert circuit etc It was later revamped and relaunched as Swadesh Darshan 2.0 with a focus on developing sustainable and responsible tourism destinations with which country india held the 11th foreign office consultations in new delhi on 19th december netherlands the indian delegation was led by sanjay verma secretary west ministry of external affairs and the dutch side was led by paul huege secretary general ministry of foreign affairs of the netherlands Netherlands is India's third largest export partner in Europe. By which ministry Millet Food Festival has been organized in Parliament on 20 December? Ministry of Agriculture. To raise awareness about the importance of millets, the ministry organized this festival. Recently, Food and Agricultural Organization of the United Nations organized the opening ceremony of the International Year of Millets 2023 in Rome, Italy. Who took over as the general officer commanding of the counterinsurgency force Kilo on 20 December? Major General Mohit Seth. What is the name of the fifth submarine of the Project 75 Kalvari class submarines? which was delivered to indian navy on 20 december the answer is yard 11879 bagir project 75 includes indigenous construction of six submarines of scorpion design these submarines are being constructed at 
Mazagon Dock Shipbuilders Limited, Mumbai, under the collaboration of French Neville Group. Now we have come to the question of the day, and today's question is: Which institution has launched a program to create impact leaders in the areas of environmental social governance or ESG on twentieth December? If you think you know the answer, write it down in the comment section. That is all for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned to our channel for more such informative videos and do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.